Hi guys, welcome to my channel, welcome to a new little video. In this video we're going to make these very very simple pockets out of book pages and then a little tag to go in them and probably do a little bit of mass making. <laughs> so I've prepared some of my book pages over here, I have some flowers from my kits, I have some fussy cut kits where you can that you can buy in my Etsy shop and they're full of flowers with different colors and then we have some pages here from a uh, raindrop playlist bohemian digital kit that i've been using a lot for my bohemian gym journals actually <laughs> if you haven't seen those videos make sure you have a look let's get started so we're just going to fold our pages Then we're gonna fold the bottom and now we're gonna cut off the excess. All right, so that took about two seconds for our pocket. Now we can decorate it with a beautiful little flower. I love putting the name of the flowers, so I just keep it from the books that I get. There we go. And then I'm just going to use a little bit of paper from Raindrop Lala's kit to put at the top to remind um, that we're using this kit. I like to use it a bit all over my drink journal. I think it looks really, really cool. This is pretty cool. And this way I can also use all the scraps that I get. So I quite like doing that. Just gonna let it hang a little bit over so that I can fold it this way it strengthens also a little bit the top of our pocket that's one done let's do a couple more This is a Camara flower, apparently. I love the name. Really looks like a hydrangea. I love the, the, I love the colors. And I'm just going to cut off the excess from the flowers. I think I'd love to use this. Yeah, this is cool.
for the text I'm going to use some scrap paper from books really like it that it's white at the back and I'm going to use a beautiful page from Raindrop Layla's kit and I'll just put it on the other side this one I think would look nice Put it the um the other way. Should be fine though. Just gonna attach another one. I always use a card to push up the glue everywhere and to remove any air bubbles. You can do it both ways. Really helps the paper to dry straight as well and not warp. Once it's dry, I will go ahead and cut our tags. To make the cards, I just cut up the paper that we glued just before and I am rounding the corners just to make it look really nice. Once that's done, I'm making sure that it fits. This one didn't. And then I'm just going to glue a little flower to make it look nice. And again, I'm using the name of the flower. Oh, I'm so happy. This looks great. That's it. So I've done a couple and now I'm just going to do a few more. When you choose a paper like this, make sure you check the direction of the paper before gluing anything to it. One more thing we could do is put a label. So these are labels from my digital kit about Bohemian Fun Facts, which is over here. And as you can see, there's some small ones. There's some big ones. There's a lot of Bohemian colors and symbols. And I really, really love this kit. So I would love to use it in this little tutorial as well. It's available on Etsy, so don't hesitate to go and have a look if you like it. 
and if you want to support my channel and now I'm thinking of using maybe some small ones like these even though big ones would be nice as well I don't know sometimes it's hard to choose <laughs> So how are you guys doing? It's been a crazy week. Last week for me, been working so hard. I quite like this because it reminds me of the color up there. So I'm just gonna go with that. Since it's just paper on paper, I'm gonna go with my new UHU stick and just gonna do it twice like this. And then we can move on to the next one. I did use a lot of different uh, colors and sizes. <laughs> and I had so much fun making these little labels. I love making different labels with like fun facts as well. Like, for instance, this one says, The eye is a symbol of protection. It is believed to ward off evil spirits and protect against negativity. And if you don't know about the eye, it is like this or this. The, you can often find little beads with the eye symbol on it. And it's really cool. I love this symbol. <laughs> so we might be able to use it here, although it's a pretty big um, label. So... Maybe not. We'll see. <laughs> then we have something about spirituality here. I think it would look really great. I am having a blast making all of these bohemian themed journals. How about dream in blue? I like the fact that it changes the style here. Although green might look nice as well. Or it could be an empty label as well. Although I believe I've removed these from my kit. So I'm going to remove them. Mm. Oh, this is so pretty. Love like a bohemian. This looks good. I love the color scheme with it. I don't know if you can hear the children outside. I've decided to get a mic so that maybe you can't hear all that background noise so much. But I'm having real trouble finding one. I don't know what to choose or how to choose, like what type of mic I need. I have no idea. So if you guys use mics or have any idea, <laughs> any pointers or anything, please let me know. I would love to hear your thoughts. <laughs> Ooh, stay wild. It's a bit too big. Look at this bird. It's so pretty. Actually, it looks quite nice here. Is it better than Bohemian culture? Hmm. Could put both. I really like the bird. I'm gonna go with the bird. I'm actually thinking of making um, a patch with this bird <laughs> for my clothes. I have, I don't know about you guys, but I have quite a lot of clothes with like tiny holes and I love my clothes so I don't want to just put them in the trash and I would really like to do something about them so I've been making some patches and I think this is so pretty I also really really like this it's like a giraffe or something and there was another one right here and I think it looks so pretty. So I'm thinking of making patches with these, like the bird as well. I think it would look really cool on clothes, don't you think? Mm -hmm. I like 
like this. Okay, so I only have eight journals. So I'm going to make sure I only make eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And the last one. Oh, this is so cute. Be free. Believe. While that heart. I feel like I've made this forever ago and it wasn't even that long ago. I'd like a pretty big label for here because I feel like I have quite a lot of space. It's a lot of noise outside, the whole family playing. Okay, none of those work, so let me just put something smaller. I like the Believe one best, so I'm gonna go with that one. Okay, there we go. All finished. I'm really, really happy with these. I can't wait to put them in my books. <laughs> Which we can actually do. Let me just grab one. This is one that I'm working on right now. So let's just find a page. It has to be a page that's a bit heavy. So you can support the weight of this one, for example. And you just glue it on and that's it. And here we have our tag where you can write on anything you like. And we could even put a little bit There we go. This looks amazing. What do you guys think? Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like what I do, of course, if you want to support my channel. And don't hesitate to go and have a look at all my other tutorials on YouTube. Thank you for watching. Bye.